Shalom, Shalom, beloved. Welcome to morning, your personal devotional time with the blessed person of the Holy Spirit. Amen. There you are. Welcome back to Morning Dew. And we're right here with the blessed person of the Holy Spirit. I want to round up on the negative trait of lying and deception and the few things we needed to know about this particular um, negative trait that has cost us so much, um, made us lose so much, and um, our work has not been fruitful or profitable. And um, constantly I'm bringing to your notice the fact that it will be much better to replace the negative traits with the positive traits that are in Second Peter chapter 1, the verse 5 uh, to the verse 8 where the apostle admonishes us and he says and beside this giving all diligence add to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge and to knowledge temperance and to temperance patience and to patience godliness and to godliness brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness charity for if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The last thing I want to share with you about lying and deception is how that Lying and deception are negative traits that lead to punishment and destruction. Sometimes you got away with a lie. You lied. It looked like anybody knew you lied. You deceived. It looked like anybody you know, arrested you and took you to the police station for punishment? No. But God's word has said something concerning that. In Proverbs chapter 25, the verse 18, the Bible says, A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall perish. He, she that speaketh lies shall perish. He, she that speaketh lies shall perish. Listen carefully. He, she that speaketh lies shall perish. Oblivious to us, this is what lying does. It causes many people to perish. Child of God, do you want to perish? Why do you insist on keeping this negative trait? In your life do you want to perish he that speaketh lies shall perish there are people I've met and when I see how much lies they tell I just tell myself hey this girl she can lie for Africa. <laughs> you see, Africa is a continent, right? With about how many? 
50 something countries right all the lies that somebody in niger all the people in niger the lies they can tell uh, the people in Guinea, the lies they can tell. The people in Kenya, the lies they can tell. Angola, Mozambique, Zimbabwe, South Africa, Ghana, Nigeria. All the lies that all these people can tell. Eh? We don't have to tell it. This one girl, this small girl, this one boy, he will lie for all of them. <laughs> The person can lie for Africa. Let's not even go to the continent of Australia. This person can lie for Africa. You see, punishment and perishing are your future all because of your lies and deception. And gradually, it will turn you to become somebody who is not productive. You never have, never will have. Always dry, not happy. You smile a lot, but you're not happy. You're hiding your sadness between, be, behind that constant smiles because you know you are a deceiver and you are a liar beloved even teaching about this negative trait of lying and deception nothing bothered you at all let it bother you that god has said in his word that he that speaketh lies shall perish it's not your pastor saying it is not any of my pastors saying it? No. Far be it. The Holy Spirit wants you to know that he that speaketh lies shall perish. Father, deliver us from lies, deceptions that will cause us to perish. Lord, deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, from our oncoming distraction and perishing. Lord, thank you that at this opportune time, you've brought the revelation of this truth to our hearts and our spirits. I know, Lord, there's somebody listening to me, watching me right now, who will avert this perishing that is oncoming. Why? Because of your revealed word. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. What a blessing, beloved. Let us know that God is doing something in your life through this daily word that comes your way um, every day, Monday to Friday. Engage us. Let's have some nice chat in the comment. Um, don't just write amen and disappear. No, beloved, let us engage. Um, whatever you're writing, somebody is reading it, they will learn something from it. And so let's keep the comment section busy as well. I'm definitely going to come here with another morning dew video. Your day is blessed and you are rising to the top. Your foundation will be correct and undergirded by truth and honesty. You will not fall, you will not stumble. The Lord my God bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. He will ever be gracious to you. In Jesus' name, amen.